Welcome to a Big Show Entertainment special event. I'm Super Dave Rains for Super Dave Rains and the Big Show, and we are on location at Mile High Con in Denver, Colorado at the Hyatt Regency, and I am here with Wa Robert uh, Willis Croft. <laughs> Boy, that's a mouthful. Uh, author, and uh, that's what uh, Mile High Con is all about. It's a literary con. So, uh, Robert, welcome to the show, and thank you for being on the show. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So tell us about your work. I currently am writing hard science fiction. Right. It's based on reality, based on current science and current technology, current engineering, right. and looks just a little bit into the future. Right. Uh, my most recent book is called Slingshot. It's the story of the construction of the world's first space launch loop a way of getting into space without using rockets, no pollution of the atmosphere, no expense of, of the uh, high expense rockets, and you can, you can lift materials into space very inexpensively. And this is the story of its construction, the men and the women who actually build it in the next couple of decades. Yeah, that's amazing. So, uh, especially the uh, launching into space without uh, using a rocket, it's a, is it, did you say it was kind of like a space orb? Kind of like a space elevator. Oh. The, uh, a space elevator takes a satellite and puts it in geosynchronous orbit so that right. it rotates over the same spot on the Earth right. and drops a cable down to the surface of the Earth and then elevators can ride up the cable. The problem is we don't have any material that is strong enough to carry its own weight from geosynchronous orbit. Right. But a space launch loop uses the same fundamental concept, but the height of the point that the elevator goes to is only 80 to 100 kilometers up. Right. And the structure is designed in such a way that it maintains itself at that height. And then, wow. then you can run a, a capsule up the elevator and then launch it along a track uh, it's, a, it's a ribbon of iron that moves at about 13.7 kilometers a second, very, very fast, wow. and it attaches itself magnetically and slips down the track and then gets, lets go of it and launches when it reaches the correct velocity and the correct point. Wow, that's amazing. So how much of this is based on uh, real science? 100% of it. So with, with that being said, what do you think are the possibility that, say, Elon Musk at SpaceX might be working on something like this? Well, Elon is working on something different, which is rocket travel and right. trying to lower the cost of rocket travel. Right. But Elon's not an idiot. You know, he's a smart guy. Right. Absolutely. And right now, uh, building a space launch loop would cost billions of dollars. Right. And it's not cost effective yet. Right. But once we have enough material to take into space on a continuing basis, yes. the cost of a space launch loop per kilogram drops way below the cost of a rocket per kilogram, and guys like Elon Musk will be looking at it and may very well end up funding it. Wow, that's amazing. So do you think, do you think the space program is better served to stay with NASA or to go more to free market? I strongly suspect that if we had been free market to start, that we would probably have a colony on Mars right now. That's amazing. That is amazing, folks. So I think I'd like to visit Mars. <laughs> but it takes a long time to get there and get back. Well, you know, again, the way we're doing it right now, yeah, I agree. It takes a long time because what we do is launch a spacecraft and then we let it coast. If you've got the sun here, the Earth's orbit here, and Mars's orbit here, and you launch from Earth and you go all the way around to where Mars will be when you get there, right. that takes a long time. Yeah. But if you have the necessary fuel or some other means of, of propelling your craft, you can go straight there and in my second book, The Star Child Compact, they use something called a Vasimir engine, which allows continuous, nearly continuous acceleration. And with enough, enough of the proper kind of fuel, you can get there in just less than a week. Wow, that's amazing. Well, uh, Robert, uh, tell us about what you're working on next. And uh, are you enjoying yourself at this con? Well, 
to take the second question first, okay. I'm having a lot of fun here at the con. All right. Sitting sitting over there with my books and watching all of the pretty girls walk by <laughs> in, their, in their exciting costumes is fun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, on a more serious note, right. um, my, my second novel, The Star Child Compact, my second science fiction novel, right. um, deals with the political situation on the earth as it is now but projected into the future right one of the elements is a persian caliphate a nuclear armed persian caliphate wow and uh the book i'm working on now goes a step further into the future and looks at a global jihad where militant islam is in the process of taking over conquering the entire planet uh, the United States balkanizes into smaller sections yeah. and only a few end up surviving with integrity right. and the subtitle the, the novel is called the Iapetus Federation and the subtitle is Exodus from Earth uh, and the people who can uh, from all persuasions all uh, they, they escape insofar right. as they're able to and they they uh, focus their efforts on, on a new human settlement throughout the solar system centered on uh, the satellite of Saturn called Iapetus. And wow. the reasons for that are in the Star Child Compact. But in any case, um, Earth is left to its own devices and right. human civilization carries on beyond Earth and eventually to the stars. And, and that's the theme of the book I'm working on right now. Wow, that's awesome. Well, Robert, Thank you so much for appearing on Big Show Entertainment ne Network. Uh, Super Dave reigns in the Big Show here on location at Mile High Con. And uh, for Robert uh, Willis Croft. You got it that time. I'm Super Dave Rains, And until next time, own the love. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>